shots on the Magnum. <laughs> Hey, hey, this is Seth Flippincott with a couple different ways on how to become a better fly fisherman. Let's start with the life cycle of a fly. So the, the life cycle of most flies starts as, as the nymph. When they want to start to emerge, they'll start to move around a little bit, and that's when the trout start to notice them. They'll get swept up in the current, they'll float downstream, and that's when these trout are, 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 are eating them up. So by using weight and setting weight on your rig, you're riding the bottom, the dead drift. Now, after that nymph floats downstream for a little bit, what it does is it, it builds a gas up inside of its, uh, inside its body so it can float to the top. This is the emerger. And in some flies, like the caddis fly, it's a very quick, quick process. So it grabs the trout's attention, and they're trying to get them before they, they get to the surface. So when the bug is at the surface, it's trying to dry its wings off. It's, it's fluttering, it's, it's trying as hard as it can. This is known as the dun, when it's finally, when it's ready to, to fly off. So once the dun is ready to fly off, it floats up to the top of trees. It'll land on a tree, it'll land on a leaf, completely drying its wings off. Now it's a spinner. It's got a clear, a more clear wing. And it's, it's a mature fly. So they begin to mate, they'll go into mating swarms. So when they're done mating, the males die. The females, they go to the water to lay their eggs. So they'll start to they'll hop. Or they'll, they'll, they'll glide across the water and they'll, they'll disperse their eggs. So the next generation can, can do the same thing next year. So once that fly is done laying its eggs, it lays on top of the surface, and what it does is it spreads itself out. This is the spinner. It'll lay on the surface, and it's at its most vulnerable point in its life cycle, where it's just floating. It's just floating downstream. So if you can understand the, the basics of a life cycle of, of any fly, you'll definitely start to hook in more fish. I'm only 20 years old, and I, I know I, I'm going to get better, and I'm not by any means the best fly fisherman in the world, but I, I do have one thing, and that's observation. I observe everything I possibly can, whether it's the type of water that's surrounding me, my environment, what bugs are hatching, everything. It, it's, it's a game of observation. So if you can tell where the trout are feeding, what they're feeding on, you'll have a good day. So, for more videos like this, check out stepflippingcod.webs.com.